How can I find my CVV number without risking fraud or identity theft? If you're looking for your CVV number but are worried about fraud or identity theft, you're in the right place. In this video, I'll go over some ways you can find your CVV number safely and securely. What is a CVV number? First, let's define what a CVV number is. CVV stands for Card Verification Value. It's a three or four digit number on the back of your credit or debit card that's used to verify that you're the cardholder. When you make a purchase online or over the phone, you'll be asked for your CVV number to confirm that you have the card in your possession. Look at the back of your card. The easiest and safest way to find your CVV number is to look at the back of your card. It's typically located on the signature strip, and it should be the last three digits on Visa and MasterCard cards, or the four digits in the top right corner on American Express cards. Make sure you're in a secure location and that no one is watching you as you look at the back of your card. Check your online account. If you're unable to locate your card, another option is to check your online account. Many banks and credit card companies allow you to view your CVV number online, although the exact location may vary depending on your provider. Make sure you're accessing your account from a secure device and that you've enabled two-factor authentication to protect your account. Contact your bank or credit card company. Finally, if you're unable to find your CVV number on your card or online, you can contact your bank or credit card company directly. They should be able to provide you with your CVV number over the phone or via email. However, make sure you're speaking with a representative from your bank or credit card company and that you're not giving out personal information to a scammer. In conclusion, there are several safe and secure ways to find your CVV number without risking fraud or identity theft. You can look at the back of your card, check your online account, or contact your bank or credit card company directly. Remember to always practice good security habits and protect your personal information.